you will break that record. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Where the enemy vowed you will not cross, you will surpass it. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. When prayer is going on, you are sitting down. This unction is not for people like you. You better go and sit outside. Prayer is going on. You are, you are sitting there. How will you be blessed? You are fake. Stop faking it. It will still show. Allow me to be raw. <laughs> if nobody can correct you, then... If you, are in a, if you are in this church and you feel you cannot be corrected, relocate. Because as far as I'm here, I must correct you. That's why I'm sent here. It's only a bastard that they don't correct. Are you a bastard? I want to read a scripture for us. I just saw it. In the first service, we focused on prosper beyond limits. And hear me and hear me where well. there is nothing you desire that God cannot put in your hand. Scripture says, What things soever ye desire, even when ye pray. He said, Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. What things soever you desire. Anyone here can prosper beyond limits. Meaning God has not placed a tag on you that you will not go far. The reason why you are still where you are is because you have not seen anything beyond that place. God needed to bring Abraham to that realm. He said, Abraham, look up. He said, as far as your eyes can see, not south, east, and west, he said, I, the Lord, will give it to you. And I said again, if you are poor, you don't look like God. You don't look like God. Because scripture say, he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And God blessed them. I want to read it now. The other, the message translation. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be. Whatever God said be must be. No witch anywhere, no devil anywhere can unbe what God has said must be. Why? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. Be. So when God said, be blessed. And you said, amen. Your amen is, I agree. So be it. So I want you to mark it. Before the end of this year, you will be a surprise to yourself. Amen. You will be a surprise to your family. Amen. You will be a surprise to everyone around you. God's prosperity plan is not limited to where you work. Your salary is not the determining factor of how far you will go. Your salary is just a seed, a foundation. That's why some people, when they look at their salary, they pity themselves. Oh, 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 oh. 
from today, you will look beyond your salary. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And funny enough, all the people that we read from scripture, scripture never told us they were working in Shell. They were working in NMPC. Never told us that. Scripture never told us that they are working in Central Bank. And God blessed them and they were exceedingly rich. Now we are, second service, we are focusing on succeed beyond limits. Let me read very quickly Genesis chapter 1. I'm reading the message translation. God spoke. Let us make human beings in our image. Make them reflecting our nature so they can be responsible for the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle. And yes, earth itself, every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike. Reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them. And God blessed them. Prosper. Reproduce. Fill the earth. Take charge. Be responsible for the fish in the sea and the birds in the air. For every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. That's the message translation. So when you hear blessed beyond limits, that is the backbone for your fruitfulness. Fruitfulness has a backbone. Prosper. Succeed. Replenish means reproduce. Replenish means recreate. That word fruitful means having a successful outcome in whatever you do. And in Psalm 1, if we read down to verse 3, it says, whatsoever he doeth, he shall do what? So, whatsoever he doeth. So whatever you are doing now, God expects you to succeed. Whatever you are doing now, God expects you to succeed. And the kind of success God has ordained for me and you is to succeed beyond limits. Meaning what God is expecting is global success, not local success. Global success. Proverbs 4, 18, the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more. So if you succeeded last year, your success this year must surpass your success of last year. You better say a good amen. amen. In your DNA, your spiritual DNA, there is no failure. There is no failure. Now, our fathers, they used to do something. Anyone that is succeeding well, that is making waves. Have you heard of my son? He's around though. Are you, are you aware that my son is around? Now, you boast of your son that is succeeding. True of us. And anyone that is failing, you tell him, 
Don't come outside though. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? Why are you saying don't come outside? You are ashamed of failure. So if you are not succeeding, God is ashamed of you. Do you know why? You are not reflecting him. You are not reflecting him. So he's ashamed that uh, you are not succeeding. I just remember something now. Who has been carrying first, 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 first? From nursery to primary school. <laughs> now, when you not carry second, what happened? What happened? I just remember something now. That's what I'm asking. Something happened. Primary one first, primary two first, primary three first, primary four, and not carry third. It's like the earth should open, let me enter. I cry, cry. It was when my father came back. He said, Don't cry again, you will revenge. He said, You will revenge. And that was the word that pacified me. Because if you have been using, if you have been used to taking first, <laughs> and you now go and carry bracket second, your bracket second, you are entering third. Am I saying the truth? That's exactly what happened. I cried that it looks like I failed. So I will not want to do anything that will make me fail. After this message, some of you will change friends. Yeah. Write it down, I said so. Yeah. Failure is contagious. Likewise too, success is contagious. There is success in every child of God. Every one of you here has the capacity to succeed. And the kind of success God has ordained for you is unlimited, limitless. Success that has no bounds. I saw on Facebook yesterday in Nigerian, at 43, the first neurosurgeon, a female. Immediately I just saw it, I just started googling to read her history. I like reading the story of successful people. A female, a neurosurgeon. Before you become a neurosurgeon, your head will be working like electric. I said, ah, a neurosurgeon. A female. I said, let me check this person. Because every successful man, there is something they are doing that failures are not doing. There is what a failure is doing that is making him fail regularly. And there is what a successful man is doing that is making him succeed regularly. Check what you are doing. That's the starting point. God did not say my people perish for lack of prayer or for lack of connection or for lack of money or because the devil is around. He said my people perish for lack of knowledge. Ninety percent of failure experience 
is because of ignorance. Ignorance. You can't succeed in what you are ignorant about. You can be working hard, making effort, and still be doing the wrong thing. Why? Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15. The labor of the foolish man wearieth every one of them, for he knoweth not how. For he knoweth not how to go into the city. Hear me? In an exam, somebody scored 90. Another person scored 80. Another person also scored 40. Another person scored 45. Another person scored 49.9. And they say he failed. That does not mean that he didn't know something. He didn't know enough. Tell your neighbor you need to know enough. Now, in medicine and surgery, if you score 49.99, you still fail. Oh. They won't put you, pity you an ad mark. They will still refer you back to go and pass for that one mark. Say with me, one mark. The person knows something, but he no know enough. If you must succeed, you must vow a vow against ignorance. You must damage ignorance. If you must succeed beyond limits, one of the first things you must make up your mind to do, you must be a hunter of knowledge. You must be a hunter. Proverbs chapter 2. Proverbs chapter 2, let's read it from verse 5. Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He lay up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shall thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good part. When wisdom enter into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. To deliver thee from the way of evil men, from the men that speaketh freeward things. Pause. Knowledge delivers. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be what? You never enter into the realm of success beyond limits. Until you make up your mind to go for more knowledge. Now I want you to know this. Learn this now. Whatever you know gives you an edge. That's why they call it knowledge. You know you have an edge. Whatever you know gives you an edge. So in the world of success, in the world of success without limits, people that have information, they control the future. The sons of Issachar, they were men of understanding and their brethren were at their command. Why? Because they know what others don't know. 
Bill Gates said something that what they will be producing till 2050, he already know it. He already has it. And that's why every minute, you, as you are here now, you are paying money to Bill Gates. Do you know? How many of us know? As you are here now, you are, you are paying, you are contributing to the Bill Gates money. Every money is making. Your money is entering there. Apostle Suleiman had an opportunity to meet Bill Gates at the airport one day, so he interviewed him. He said, now tell me one on one, what is your secret? He said something. That Africans, they like new things. He said, okay, go ahead. He said, that's why every time they keep changing the models of the phone, because as they change it, their head will go haywire. <laughs> their head will go haywire, and they will go and look for money by all means to buy it, because they like pressing. Somebody is in church now, he's looking Facebook. He's looking Facebook. As I'm talking now, somebody is looking Facebook. And he can't face his book. Now, anytime you own your data to watch Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg is making money from you. Oh, you don't know? You think it's free, free service? He's not running a charity organization. No. You are the one paying him. Somebody will post picture. Hey! Somebody go and click like. As you click like, hey! somebody don't make money. Oh, you don't know? Why do you think your data is finishing? Your data is their money. As you are burning more data, it's making more money. See your head. <laughs> so, he said, Africans, they like to press. They can, change, they can change phone three times in a year. So, they keep producing. They keep producing. And they will be buying. So, he now asks him, why have you not changed your own? You say, I don't need it. I don't need it. They are the ones that need it, so we'll be making money from them. Tell your neighbor knowledge. knowledge. Hear me? Whatever you know now, somebody will pay for it. I met a lecturer at the airport two years ago. He's a friend to my friend. My friend is, a, is an associate prof. My classmate is an associate prof in the University of Calabar. So we met at the airport. So this their lecturer just came back from Italy. They went for a course. So in the process of talking, we asked him, who sponsored you? He said he sponsored himself. The university did not sponsor him. But he said, whether, whether the university sponsored me or not, the students will pay through their nose. He said, we'll be carving out everything he has learned. They will be pay paying for it as handout. So when he if they are 400 in the class, if he calculates it, 20, 20,000, they will, if you don't pay, you don't pass. In fact, your handout is part of 20% or 30% of your exam. True or false? You go pay tire. That's why knowledge is not free. You want to succeed. You hear me? Success is not a function of muscle. If success is determined by muscle, all the wheelbarrow and truck pushers, they should have been richer now. That's what we call so far ahead. If success is determined by who gets muscle pass, those men should be rich. I remember those days when we were still in primary school in Port Harcourt. We were going to pick my younger sister. So we got to UTC Junction. We saw an old man, very old, pushing truck. So I said, Daddy, see, see this man is pushing truck. 
He said, that's why I'm telling you to read now. The reason he's pushing truck at this age is because when they were telling him, he didn't want to hear. So he's still suffering to push truck. If you fail to bend down now and pay your price of knowledge, you will push truck in old age. You better say, God forbid. There is a man they used to call Jolly Papa in my village. They were the happening boys those days. They were the ones organizing show, party, doing big boy. I met him. I met him. As a small boy, I met him. So one day we were walking past. I asked my dad, why is this man not married? He said they were the guyoyo of those days. But now, time and age has passed him to the point that he can't even afford to marry. So what the sisters has to do, they have to contribute money and marry a wife for him. It's a failure. May you not transfer failure to your children. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Success is a legacy. Check people that are succeeding. They bring their children into that succeeding frequency. Check it. Success is transgenerational. Likewise, failure is transgenerational. It is impossible to succeed in now. Let me say this. The 70s, the 80s, we were in the industrial age. Am I correct? Then if you graduate, the, everybody will be expecting that you will walk. You must walk. Now, there's what they used to call job security. That when you have a job, you are secured. That's why Everybody is looking for a job that has pension. Pension prison. <laughs> now I want to shock you. Having a job is good. But you can, it can bring you to what we call mental retardation. It will make you not to think of the future. How you can go far. Why? You already know that 35,000 or 37,000 or 40,000 will enter your, your account. So every month you are looking forward to 40,000. And so when you retire, pension is secured. That's what we call prison yard. Do you know why? You can't think. You have been locked up in a bus. Now, that's why when the industrial age began to fail, watch out, in the next two, three years, there will be massive sack from banks, local governments. Why? They can't fund it again. Am I correct? Banks. The work of four persons will be given to one person. The system is getting so modified to the point now that everything can, is getting accomplished electronically. You can from your phone do transfer. You can from your phone do deposit. You only go to a bank when you want to withdraw maybe 30,000, 20,000. Your, your need in that place is getting reduced. We have moved from the industrial age to the information age. So if you want to succeed now, you need to go for information that will put you in control. You need it. You need information that will put you in control. Let me tell you, if 
if you want to succeed beyond limits, no employer can pay you more than 10% of your worth. No employer can pay you 10% of your worth. Be fruitful and multiply. Increase. Replenish the earth. How can you replenish the earth with a salary mentality? If you must succeed beyond limits, I want to let you know there are potentials in you. Laban cheated Jacob for how many years? 14 good years. How many years? And I'm sure he was praying, Lord, you said in your word that what the plant my woman have, can't come have eaten, you will restore. Lord, all these years that this man has been cheating me, pay me back. Pay me back. Pay me back. So one day, say with me, one day, one day, God gave him an idea. One day, God gave him an idea, just one idea. And he began to think of it. I must not end up a failure. Now hear me, it was his thoughts that triggered those inspirations. I must not end up a failure. I've served this man four years, seven years, and I've entered the next seven years. I must not end up a failure. Lord, redeem my life. Redeem my life. I must not end up a failure. I must succeed. I must succeed no matter how many years that has been wasted. And one idea struck. If all the ships carry spots, you will not like it. So, do something that will make it Make sure that the ships, they carry more spots. So he said, okay, I don't catch you. So what he did was to paint a peg and went and put it to where they are drinking water. So as he put the peg there, anytime they are looking at that thing, the image will be getting registered. That's why scripture says, as a man thinketh. So it's not only you that think, oh, I mean, animal too, then they think. As a man thinketh in his heart, so you see. So as they are looking at the thing, the image was getting formed. And that's how as they started meeting and giving back, they were having more of the spotted ships. So one day, the son told him, let this man go away from us for he is more richer than us. Say with me, knowledge. knowledge. There is what scripture said he calls it the wisdom which the Holy Ghost teaches. If you must succeed, there are two levels of information. The one you read from books and the one which the Holy Ghost teaches. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. He can teach you all things. He can show you things to come. That's why going for information is not optional. It's not optional. You don't wait for it, you go for it. I'm your pastor. I go for information 247. Regularly, not occasionally. You go for information. The more informed you become, the more transformed you become. Information transforms. Lack of information deforms. Now, Many of us think that success is what we do. <laughs> success is not just what you do. Success is who you become. You are not succeeding because you are doing something. You are succeeding because you have become something. 
So success is inside out, not outside in. You are a success not because of what you do, but because of who you become. That's why we keep referencing to information. Every information you get today creates an image of you. Something is formed in you. And that thing that is formed in you is what determines what you succeed at. Whether you like it or not, the hard times will not reduce. During the time of Isaac, scripture said, beside this famine, there was another famine. So it's not today that famine started. There was famine in the time of Jacob. There was famine in the time of Joseph. There was famine in the time of Isaac. There was famine in the time of Christ. And how much more now? Scripture said, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. He said, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee. Darkness. The meaning of darkness there is hardship. So economic depression is not an excuse to failure. If the people of old, they succeeded by breaking out of it, for you to succeed beyond limits, you must respond to information. You must respond to knowledge. If you must succeed beyond your limits, you must go beyond what you know now. Tell your neighbor you must go beyond what you know now. He said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, even and be in health, even as thy soul do what? Prosper it. To prosper your soul means to go for information that will enrich you. The more rich you are, by reason of information that comes your way, the more things begin to change. It is information that gives you a picture of possibilities. If you say things are hard, things are difficult, it's because you are ignorant. Any place where you stay and you are complaining that things are hard, go and check it, is mostly on things that you are ignorant about. Though scripture told us, for with God all things are possible, it's only for people that know well. You must know more. You must keep knowing. You must keep searching. You must keep thinking. You must keep reasoning. The people that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. So circumstances don't make us but rather, they reveal to us opportunities. They reveal to us that there are opportunities. When you choose to succeed, you now begin to respond to changes. There is nothing anyone is going through now that cannot change. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Any person you see now, that is a success was once a failure. But they did not choose to remain in failure. They made up their mind to succeed. Let me remind you again, if you are a failure, you don't look like God. You look like Satan. Yes. You are reflecting Satan by being a failure. That's why God wants you to succeed. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. What happens to you does not mean that you should reduce in pursuing success. Yes, it may hurt you, but you need to wake up from it and go forward. Tell your neighbor you must go forward. Now, who has written an exam and failed? Be sincere now. Why are you being... Now, should I surprise you? Before you wrote the exam and failed, you have already failed in your mind. 
Is that surprising to you? Before you failed, you have already failed. Something kept telling you, you go fail. You go fail. You go fail. And you began to bought the idea, I go fail. I go fail. I go fail. So when you enter the exam, you actually failed. You came to confirm the failure. That's the truth. Am I saying the truth? But when you enter an exam with confidence, most people that succeed, they write their scores. They write their grade before they enter exam. True or false? Who has experienced that before? They write their grades. They don't just walk into exam. This semester, this is what I'm going to make. This is what I'm going to make. Now, we used to take a course, special French for geology students. And they have told us that nobody has crossed a C in that course. But I've already written my scores. I've already written my scores. And here is the announcement, nobody has crossed a C. We used to have a Cameroonian who happened to be a lecturer, he is a graduate assistant. So I said, Terence, I said, you speak French? He said, yes. I said, I want to have a B in this course. She laughed! That was a laughter of mockery. As far as I'm concerned. The next thing that came out from my mouth, can you pay the price? I said, does it require blood? She said, no. He said, but it's difficult. I said, but not impossible. He said, what and what can you teach me? She said, okay, I can be teaching you once in a week. Then I'll give you dictionary. She gave me the French dictionary. I started knowing what is nose, what is ear, what is mouth, what is hair. I started knowing it's small, 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 small. From there, I started writing French. The next thing she did for me, she gave me past questions. She said, if you want to really know how far you can go in this exam, look at this past question. It's, it's like they gave me 50 years load. But I knew what I did. I started taking them one by one at the exam. It was like they just gave me Cyrillac to drink. I finished the exam and walked out. The question the examiner was asking me, are you sure? Are you sure that you are okay? <laughs> Meaning they've not seen any person come out in one hour. Are you sure you are okay? I said, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I didn't need to think whether I will fail. I knew I wrote the right thing. So I went to where I wrote my grade. I took this one. Good. Now hear me. Failure is not a person. Failure is a mentality. Success is also what? A mentality. As a man thinketh in his heart. As a man thinketh in his heart. If your work is not producing now, it's because of your heart. Failure is a mentality. Success is also a mentality. And that is why you must start reasoning success, thinking success, behaving success, talk success before things will begin to change. I've never seen anyone that succeeded without the use of his mind. Amazingly, Scripture said we have the mind of Christ. Do you have the mind of Christ? We have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is talking about an anointed mind. Not an ordinary mind. Now hear me. Adam was a classic success. After God placed him in the garden, he single-handedly named all the animals without going to university. Chimpanzee. Lion. Goat. You look at this fish. Etrobranchus. Tilapia. Carica papaya. 
He was just naming them anyhow. How did those names come out? As a man tinkered. I want you to hear this. If you will succeed, your mind will be working with the frequency of your God nature. Your God nature. So it's not enough to pray. It's not enough to fast. For you to be fruitful in whatever you are doing, you must possess a success mentality. Success goes with a mentality. Whether you are a fashion designer or you are a footballer or you are in one trade or the other, you need a success mentality. Success is a mentality. Do you know for a business to fail, it has first of all failed in your mind. The moment it fails in your mind, no passion. Your passion to drive the success dies. Why? In your mind, that business has failed. I was watching one documentary Leonard Messi did. They were asking him about CR07. How many of us know CR07? Now, he said, let me say it word for word. He said, in his lifetime, there cannot be another CR07. He said, I score goals, but this man is different. And I've discovered there are some things he is doing that I am not doing. If you must be different, you must do something others are not doing. Now, watching this other man's documentary, he practiced beyond the normal time. They were showing all the goals he was calling. He said, look at this goal now. Someone that I've been, do that I've been used to practicing is the one that can score this kind of goals. He scored with both legs. It scores from dangerous angles. It scores from impossible angles. It takes one that has been practicing to do such things. That goes to let you know success goes with practice. If you must succeed beyond limits, you must practice what others are doing, what others are not doing at all times. He said, I score goals, but this man is a different person. He has speed, he has accuracy, he has shooting power. Now, where do you want to succeed in? Now, hear me. Let me say this again. Success requires training. Failures train themselves to fail more. Successful people, they train themselves to succeed more. Do you know that if you must be wealthy, you need to train yourself for wealth? Oh, many people just think that it's just making money. It's a lie. You must train yourself for wealth. Wealth requires training. Because if you are not trained for wealth, there is a level you will get to. You misfire. Why? You can't manage it. It's not bigger than you, so it will destroy you. You must train for wealth. I didn't mention that in the first service. That one is reserved for next Sunday. Successful people. What is the meaning of success? Succeeding in succession. That's just the meaning of success. Succeeding in succession. So if you must succeed in succession, you must keep training for another succession. You must keep training. You keep training. And the more you train, the more you are improving. Because your success today can be a proverb tomorrow. No wonder my small told Papa, stop celebrating 50 capacity, 50,000 of capacity auditorium. It is now a proverb. Think of something new. Think of what? 50,000 capacity auditorium is a proverb. Think of something new. If you must succeed in succession, you must think of what you need to add to what you have already achieved that will be better. And a wise man said, the largest room in the world 
is the room for improvement. If you are not improving, you cannot maintain success and you cannot sustain success. Scripture says, for with God, all things are what? Likewise, for with you, all things are what? You are not saying it with conviction. Impossibility exists where? In the mind. Anything you call impossible is only in your own mind. It's only in your own mind. That is why the mind is the center where success is formed and where failure can be formed, whichever one you choose. Doubt is in the mind. Unbelief is in the mind. Fear is in the mind. But if anyone you choose determine what you succeed in. So if you choose doubt, they create limitation on how far you can go. If you choose failure, they create a limitation on what you can succeed in. Barrenness is of the mind. We have more barren minds than barren bodies. We have more barren minds than barren bodies. When your mind is barren, you are an epitome of failure. When your mind is barren, everything about you will be walking towards barrenness. No wonder God said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. So if I can succeed in prospering your soul, every other thing about your life will begin to work well. Every other thing about your life will begin to work well. So how you view a situation will determine your outcome in that situation. David saw Goliath as a giant that can be conquered while his brother saw him as a mountain that cannot be moved. Do you know why? I've tested success. I've practiced for it so this man, I can get him down. Now, he's shooting catapults. He never knew that he was preparing for Goliath. How many of us shoot catapults before? City believers. Did they do like say they don't know what they talk now? <laughs> eh? Those days we used to fight, fight barrack fight. How many of us know what they call barrack fight? There's what we used to do. We put meek concom. Or we stay at an angle and be stoning to be making sure that no one remain. Not with catapult, just no master. So I'll be shooting the team, shooting the team. So anytime my barrack has a fight with another barrack, are you hear what I'm saying now? Everybody will line up on this side, I will stay at the end. Because I stone with left. And if I sight your head, I must not miss your head. Are you hear what I'm saying now? And now I remember we had a fight with a people in one other barrack, block E. I broke somebody's head and everybody scattered and I took off. Because we were many, they couldn't know who broke his head. But I knew I was the one that broke that man's head. So after they took him to the hospital and brought him back, I was not telling him, sorry, yeah. if you hear that our barrack is fighting with another barrack, don't enter again, don't enter again. <laughs> Until they banned barrack fights. How did they ban barrack fights? They came one day and threw tear gas for us. They didn't know that I've been inhaling tear gas. I just quietly walk, go and lie down. Now, 
David has been practicing shooting before Goliath appeared. Whatever you are doing now is preparing you for something. It's not a coincidence. So, it's not the Lord that gave the bear and the lion into my hand who put Goliath in my hand. All you uncircumcised Philistines, today, I will bring down your head. Goliath laughed. He said, do I look like a vulture or chicken? That you are coming with catapults? He didn't understand it. It was a mystery. But I'm sure, David looked at him and said, it's only a catapult that can bring this man's head down. Yes. So, he went back, he started practicing the shooting. Aiming at the forehead. I'm sure they must have cut something that looks like Goliath's head for him. So, he was, he was shooting. He was aiming. Maybe he can shoot 50 and score 47. A sharpshooter doesn't meet target. So, on the actual day, it's not by size. The brother say, you won't die. You won't die. But well, then they tell you, this is your pride go kill you one day. You won't die. You won't die. Oh yeah, go. And David came. With race. Say with me, with race. Anything you will win, your heart will tell you you will win. He said, the Lord that gave the bear and the lion into my hand We put your head. And as he did that, God took over the stone. That was how the stone now became a missile and hit the head of Goliath's forehead and Goliath fell down. And as he fell down, he slaughtered the head and brought it. Now, the reason why I'm making this reference, there is nothing conceived in the heart that is not obtainable by the hand. Anything you can conceive, you can achieve. Anything you can conceive, you can obtain. Kenneth Copeland said, 50% of your success starts in your mind. If you can think it, 50% is already done. The others is just normal procedure. From today, you will not fail again. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. Yeah. And I summarize with this story. Ben Carson was once a classified dummy. What we call Mumu. But the mother kept prophesying. Speaking God's word. Now let me tell you. Any of your child that is not doing well now. You are contributing to it. Start motivating that child. That child will surprise you. I'm telling you the truth. Because I remember one of our pastors, the child looked like an imbecile. But today, that boy, he should be in primary, the boy is in primary one, Abi. He's in primary three now, in KHMS, Kenan Land. He couldn't talk before, but they kept speaking God's word. They kept speaking God's word. They kept speaking God's word. Now, from being a failure, Ben Cassie, grew to be the first the first, not black the first world neurosurgeon the first to become a neurosurgeon you will be taking decision at the speed of light not consulting from books That's why a failure today can become a super success tomorrow. Am I saying something to somebody? That's why I want to conclude by saying to you, failure is not an identity. Failure is an experience. So they didn't stamp your forehead and call you a failure. It's just an experience. You only learned how something cannot work. Period. By predestination, you are a success. Tell your neighbor you are a success. You must walk with this mentality. Nothing shall be impossible for me. 
Now let me, so, let me say this and we rise up to pray. Before I do anything, I first of all convince myself it will not fail in my hand. I convince myself, spirit, soul, and body, it must work. It must succeed. It must go through. By the time I succeed in doing that, I don't need anybody's opinion or approval or confirmation. I put my head. Anytime you are looking for people's approval, get ready. You will get more failures. Success does not require people's approval. If you want to succeed, don't look for people that will tell you it will work. If you are looking for people that will tell you it will work, you will get more, it will not work. Rise up to your feet. Every time we tell you, buy this book, read this book. Suppose you say, ah, man must struggle. How old are you now? How many years struggle do you need to make for your story to change? No wonder a wise man said, information is the shortest distance to success. Say with me, information is the shortest distance to success. The more you know, the shorter the journey the more you know, the shorter the journey. You shorten your journey. You shorten the journey. You are damaging failure by knowing more. You are picturing more possibilities by knowing more. I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, as this anointing come upon me today, I damage failure. I divorce failure. I banish failure. I refuse to be a failure. In my business, in my career, in my work, I refuse to be a failure. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. I refuse to be on the same spot. I refuse to be limited by one thing. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. I refuse to be a failure. I refuse to be a failure. I refuse to be limited on the same spot. I refuse to be on the same spot. I enter the realm of success beyond limits. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beginning from today. I go beyond my present mark. I go beyond my present limits. I will surpass where others succeed. I will exceed where others surpass. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I banish every form of failure. Today mark the end of your dominance in my life. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. If you are here, you are not born again. You don't stand the chance to, to break the limits over your life. That's why Jesus is the only person that gives us the opportunity to succeed beyond limits. Wherever you are, you want to make it right with Jesus, wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. 
In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, congratulations. Wherever you are, carry your bag and your Bible and come quickly. I want to pray with you and I will anoint you here. Inside and outside, come quickly. Put those hands together for Jesus. I have this. said in the first half, may you not have challenge in the night and there is nobody to borrow you anointing away. Are you hearing me now? You can have money for recharge card. You can't have money to buy one bottle. Recharge card is 500. I know you say 100. Is it only 100 you may call in a month, in a week? Father, any arrow of failure fired against anyone in this assembly it is written it shall come to pass on that day that the burden shall be taken away from thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck as this oil come upon you whoever place a limit on how far you can succeed thy yoke is destroyed Any embargo over your work, over your job, over your academics, over your business, by the anointing, the, the yoke is destroyed. Any evil altar, coven power, calling your name for failure, for demotion, I decree as this oil come upon you, let their invocation be swallowed up. As you place this oil upon your forehead, you are going to be decreeing, I will succeed beyond limits. I will go beyond my present position. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. I refuse to end up where my enemy expects. I will succeed beyond limits. The oil is already on your head. Put your hand on your head and start praying. In the name of Jesus. I will go beyond limits. I will succeed beyond limits. Thank you. I will succeed beyond limits. In my career. In my assignments. In my business. In my work with God. The spirits. God gives his spirit without limits. By the Spirit of God, I refuse to be on the same spot. I will succeed beyond limits. Lift up your voice in my business, 
in my career, in my assignments, in my family, I will succeed beyond limits. Any satanic embargo by the fire of the Holy Ghost be destroyed. Any fail of limitation by the fire of the Holy Ghost be destroyed. Lerande klekuta pa jetalo rezane katala ritale proteko jaklosizo enaketara bele tarota jekota pariada lezono doru jekuteke le papra dosana leando leketi jekosizo leabra ilabo de rusa zode rekato di ale paleta le I refuse to end where my enemy expects. In the name of Jesus, I am breaking forth on every side. I am changing levels. I am breaking forth on every side. I am succeeding on every side. I am succeeding beyond limits. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear this word. What your enemy vowed you will not have. I decree with prophetic authority and fire. That blessing will be placed in your hand. Amen. Scripture said, Thou prepared a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. They vowed you will not get it. I speak with authority. You will have it as you desire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever limits witches or wizard, occultic men and occultic women, coven powers are placed over you. I decree today that spell is broken in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, We were like them, that tree. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. Then said the hidden among themselves, The Lord have done great things for them. Hear this now. The people that mocked you, they will gather to celebrate your testimony. The people that mocked your family, they will gather to celebrate your testimony. Some of the people that mocked me, I'm the one paying their children's school fees now. If God has done it for me, write it down. I said so. And if I be a servant of Oyedepo, wherever you have been mocked, you will become a living testimony. You will become a living testimony. You will become a living testimony. They expect you to remain on the floor. But before June this year, you will change level to the top. You will change level to the top. Any prison where you have been locked up so that your name will not be heard. I decree the prison door scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. He said, whatsoever the righteous do it, it shall prosper. From today, your hands will be producing good results. That thing that you have failed before, I pray for you. From today, your hand will achieve success. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Any door that was shut against you. Jesus said, I am the one that opened it. I command your doors of success to open. Amen. I command your doors of success to open. Amen. From the north, from the south, amen. from the east, amen. from the west. Amen. Let the helpers of your success locate you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. 
whoever has access to the information that will change your story positively by the moving of angelic presence i decree let the carriers of your information for success locate you wherever they are located let the spirit of god stamp your name in their hearts in the name of jesus let their loins be loose for your favor in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. Amen. The power that vowed that you will fail again. I command their arrow to go back in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Wave your hand unto God and give him praise.